No bitch, no bush, no bank. Tom Hennigan, international intelligence expert, October 25, 2015. It can now be reported that former U.S. Secretary of State Hillary Roddenhurst Clinton ran an Iran-Contra-style covert operation in Benghazi, Libya, regime change, on behalf of the Saudi royal family and the oil giant environmental assassin British Petroleum. The covert operation in Benghazi was funded by British-owned HSBC of Hong Kong and its American branch HSBC of Englewood, Colorado. The funding of the covert op was with the use of counterfeit Iraqi dinar, which the Inspector General of the United States claims was gathered by FBI investigators who searched the Benghazi unregistered diplomatic outpost after the assassination of Ambassador Christopher Stevens. We can also divulge that the security for the outpost were private mercenaries tied to British-owned Blackwater Associates. We now see why the British left Benghazi before the scripted Al-Qaeda attack. Wash the dinar, wash the yen, sounds like Iran-Contra and Mina, Arkansas. British-owned HSBC and German Nazi Deutsche Bank, along with former U.S. Secretary of State Clinton and Bush crime family accountant, the bookkeeper Barbara Bush, recently engaged in an illegal $7 trillion stock swindle, a.k.a. the manipulation of the S&P 500, using the open window at the corrupt, privately-owned Federal Reserve using 90% of the pension funds of American citizens at Great Western Life Insurance Company as collateral. Note, HSBC still holds these illegal, under-margined positions in the market with the Corrupt Securities Exchange Commission, SEC, and the Commodities Futures Trading Commission, CFTC. Reference, Hillary claims she made a mistake in voting for the illegal unconstitutional war in Iraq based on regime change. Given her activities in Libya, she did not learn from that mistake. Liaison to Saudi intelligence, British intelligence, and U.S. Citibank was Nazi Jew Sidney Blumenthal. His code name in the Libyan operation was The Radical. Blumenthal is now working directly with Clinton's super PAC director and major fundraiser, homosexual David Brock. Listen to this, folks. Brock is a former employee of Clinton-era independent counsel, Kenneth Starr. Blumenthal and Brock specialize in bribery of corrupt U.S. media journalists and blackmail versus Hillary's political enemies. Brock and Blumenthal are also tied to former Clinton Bush CIA Mena, Arkansas asset Larry Nichols. Larry Nichols is tied to FBI Division 5 bribery, the National Enquirer, the FBI Division 5 Cointel Pro Disinfo. Scumbag Nichols is currently doing radio shows on behalf of Bush and Clinton, claiming he needs money because he has lung cancer. Nichols does not have lung cancer. Nichols has diarrhea of the mouth. Nichols is a personal friend of FBI Division 5 assassin, Tim White. Direct message to Nichols, kneel down punk. We can also divulge that Democratic Congressman Nazi Jew Adam Schiff is sitting on personal emails between Hillary Blumenthal, Brock, and Democratic Party National Chairman Nazi Jew Debbie Wasserman Schultz along with Nazi Jew Fox News contributor David Zimmerman, in which she makes racist comments concerning current U.S. President Barack Obama and also discusses the need to have year 2000 duly elected natural-born U.S. President Albert Gore Jr. assassinated if he decides to run for the Democratic presidential nomination in 2016. Note, Congressman Schiff alleges that he is against the NSA spying on the American people, but in truth is also covering up, according to NSA whistleblower Scott Bennett, who is a friend of Edward Snowden, the fact that NSA spying against the American people has now been outsourced to a command and control outpost at Hebrew University in Jerusalem, Israel, with Nazi Jew Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu as a paid consultant. P.S. We can now report that Adamus Group Director Gordon Duff's real name is Bosch Foot. 
the name Boch Foot is total German Nazi bloodline, not Scottish. PPS identify the enemy. At this hour, there is no free press in the United States. There is a corporate-controlled, Goebbels-style propaganda machine tied to criminal banks and mega-national corporations that paid no taxes. So, identify the enemy. Naval intelligence asset Bob Woodward of the Washington Post has resurfaced. Woodward is a dangerous scumbag and blackmailer tied to the assassination of 1990s Clinton Bush Mena, Arkansas whistleblower Neil Cooper Moody. Woodward has daily conversations with had then had daily conversations with then Clinton era independent counsel and cover up artists Kenneth W. Starr. Woodward alleges from his Watergate days that former President Richard Nixon manipulated the electoral process. Woodward himself conspired with Ken Kenneth Starr and then First Lady Hillary Rodden Hurst Clinton as well as then Deputy Attorney General Eric Holder to try to frame then Vice President Al Gore Jr. for making alleged questionable fundraising calls in the 1990s from the wrong room. The leaker on Gore to Woodward was Nazi Jew bitch Hillary. Call Forrest Lindsay 301-565-0477. Woodward wanted to clear the field for Clinton crime family partner George W. Bush, a.k.a. Bush fraud. Woodward also participated in the blackmail of then New York major mayor and Republican candidate in the Senate in the year 2000, Rudy Giuliani. Woodward needed to clear the field for Hillary and set up her, set up her, set her up for future presidential runs post Bush fraud. So as we can see, it is the little bitch Woodward and the Washington Post that is no caught in the manipulating the electoral process Direct message to Bob Woodward from the American people. Kneel down, punk. Next, we once again deal with Nazi Jew bitch Gloria Borger of CNN, whose husband is a bought and paid for lobbyist representing the Bush crime family in Washington, D.C. Borger recently commented that U.S. Vice President Joseph Biden, also controlled by Nazi Jew fundraisers like Chaim Seban and Erv Bass, could be an emergency candidate for the Democratic presidential nomination should Hillary be indicted by the FBI. Bitch Borger said it is no problem because the fundraisers that support Hillary support Biden. Message to Gloria Borger, shut up and kneel down, bitch. Your comments reek of a royal court messenger. You know what happens to royal court messengers once the American people get enraged. Now we are going to deal with little punk Chris Matthews and little bitch Lawrence O'Donnell of MSNBC. Both are extortionists and blackmailers who took bribe money from then General Electric CEO Jack Welch during the year 2000 presidential election cycle to smear then Vice President Albert Gore Jr. The two little bitches actually voted for Bush fraud in 2000 and now currently are on Hillary's payroll. Reference, little bitch O'Donnell was a frequent visitor to Barney Frank's homosexual whorehouse in Washington, D.C. during the 1990s. In closing, a financial meltdown still beckons as the IMF will soon declare the Chinese yuan currency a reverse currency, meaning that the Japanese yen currency will no longer be calculated in units per U.S. dollars, but U.S. dollars per currency unit. Translation, British-owned HSBC, ass is grass.